everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I have this really, really cute little bottle, Patron. I guess it's a Patron bottle. I'll say I really didn't know what it was, but it's printed on the bottom here. And I just think it's adorable. So I'm going to paint it with the Daisy Style Flower. I am going to be grabbing a couple brushes here. Didn't have them ready. I am going to be using my magic brushes. I have two flat brushes and one is a number two, one is a number four. And then I have two magic round brushes that I'm using and one is a 14 and one is a number eight. All of these are listed below. So you're welcome to purchase through my affiliate links. This next brush is my Westonia Fine Liner. And then I have my number four scruffy brush. Paint I'm using are all folk art paints, combination of multi-surface and enamels. I have the 14 karat gold, the wicker white, school bus yellow, fresh foliage, and thicket. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to begin with my number 14 round brush and I, hopefully you can see this, I'm going to be sticking it into the wicker white and I'm sorry my air conditioning is starting uh, up here. I am then tipping it into the 14 karat gold and then I'm going to come up here and start making my petals and first time I've ever painted on one of these bottles I guess that it's just so cute I get my bottles from a restaurant that we go to and when she showed me this one she goes no oh, I'm not sure if you're gonna like this I'm like oh my goodness it's so cute yes I want that one so if you're starting to paint on bottles and you're somebody like me who I'm not a drinker so for me to have a bunch of wine bottles or anything like that sitting around I don't have them so my uh, bar that I go to bar restaurant that I go to they're gracious enough to save them for me so when we go in once a week to have dinner I can get them from them and as you can see, depending on how you press down on, on the brush is going to determine the style of leaf you, or petal, that you create. And I just keep, you know, sticking my brush into the paint as I'm going along. And there you have it. Okay, very cute. I'm going to... Go ahead and put in another one. The only problem with this small of a bottle, as you all know, if you follow me, I like to have a lot of greenery. I like leaves. And I'm going to have to get them stuck in here somehow. And I'm just going to do the front of this bottle for right now. I do plan to sell it so I am going to paint all the way around it. I'm going to come back in here because I do have that raised lettering. And there you go. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my number 8 round brush. I'm going to stick it into the white just like I did with the bigger. Tip it into the gold. And then just come about and do, hopefully you can see here, just do some little partially opened, I'm going to say buds because they're not really buds, but they're partially open flowers. And just push them and pull them, just like that. And then I'll finish it off, like that, so I can put a 
just kind of hook them on here. Then I'm just going to come over here to the side, do another one. Very simple. And if you're new to my channel, just know that I try to provide you with simple designs that anybody that's new to painting can easily create. I want you to have something that's very relaxing to do, helps with stress, and that is my point. Something fun too. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my fine liner brush. I'm going to stick it, move this for a second here, stick it into my thicket. You can see, and I like to do it, load them this way, stick it in, pull it out, and I'm just kind of rolling my brush to get some of the, some of the paint out of the brush before I start painting with it. Now on this design, I'm going to do flowers or leaves around it. I keep saying flowers. Leaves around it, but I'm not doing it like it's a, like it's a stem, you know, like a big branch of flowers or whatnot. I'm just, or a bouquet. I'm just doing it with the leaves going around it. I'm using my little fine liner brush here just to do the attachment to the stem. I love this brush. I need to get some new ones, but looks very worn because I do use it so much. And I definitely really like it. Something like this, you can just easily do a color, tap over it, put another color in, and just keep going with it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, now you can, in this next step, you can go ahead and dry your, dry your um, surface a little bit as far as the design goes, hit it with a heat gun, hit it with a hair dryer, or just pure and simple, just give it some, some dry time. Let it sit for maybe an hour or so, letting it dry a little bit before you go to this next step. I don't really care if I'm pulling in some of the white below. That would be the purpose of giving it some dry time. I am perfectly okay with the white, so I'm just going to go ahead and paint. But if it bothers you, feel free to do what I suggested. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just take the heel of my brush, because I just pounced this whole thing into the yellow, I'm going to take the heel of my brush and I'm going to pound it into the fresh foliage and then just put a little bit of that around the base. Whichever direction I want my my flower to be heading is, you know, I'm going to put this towards what I would consider the bottom, but it doesn't have to all be going the same direction. And I hope that makes sense to you what I'm saying. Okay, so then once I do that, I can come back over it with the yellow, pounce more, kind of pounce over it a little bit, just make it so that it's it's not real, I want to say rigid, but does it's Blend, blending in a little bit. If you feel like it's not dark enough, just go ahead and pounce back in it, because like this one's not as dark as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to pounce back in it a little bit, like that. There you go. The last thing I'm going to do for the centers, if I can find it here, and I think I forgot to say this, I'm also using a dotting stylus. I am going to tap into the thicket and put some dots here. And here you go. Like that. And they can be dots or you can just be tapping. It doesn't really matter. And I haven't done dots for a bit here. So I just thought, you know, looking at these centers, it just kind of gives it more life if you put some dots in it. If you don't like the dots, then guess what? 
leave them out. Anything I do, you can change, leave out, add more, you know, put your own little twist to it. I'm perfectly fine with that. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do on my number four is put one side into the thicket, one side into the fresh foliage. Might even dip a little bit of it into the thicket. The, not thicket, but the wicker white. I don't know why I keep saying that. That helps give it a little bit more um, opaque, more of an opaque look because it has more pigment to it. Okay, now this, this leaf that I'm gonna do is just real rigid. So all you're gonna do is just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. See right there. You're gonna wiggle. You're gonna come in and out, in and out, in and out. If you get to a part where you feel like it's just not, not so opaque enough, then go back over it. And you can wait, you give this some dry time and go back over it, or you can just go over it while you're painting it and hope that it gives you the, the results that you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna start here again, wiggle, 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 in and out, in and out, like that. And then come back here, do the same thing, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I just want it to be not a straight leaf, you know, where it's round, you know, wiggled and rounded. I want it to be, have some texture to it. Okay, now this might be a little bit more difficult down here because I have the, the writing down here at the bottom. this and turn it and then I'm going to come down here and go through the center and then do it again and just making it really rigid again this bottle shape is cute but it's a little different to paint on than what I'm used to and then I can just pull it through here like that. Very cute. And let's see where else we can step. Now, if you want to get brave and go into the center, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and, and give it a try. This might be a little difficult because of the paint that's still wet underneath, but I'm lightly touching on it, so hopefully it won't pull too much of it from the white leaf or the white petals and I'm confusing you by saying different things okay and then we can come up well, let's go down this way because you don't have to stick with two you can have three leaves you can have one leaf however many fits like that all right now with this design I am going to let's see I just want to make sure I'm not going to roll on anything if I set it down this way well I don't know that that's going to show you either okay so right here I'm going to go ahead do some wiggling put another leaf up in here And also, if you get to the point where you have too much paint in your brush, just always remember, wipe it off on a paper towel or whatever it is you're using at the time. And just keep wiggling, bring it down in there. And then I can come up here and go, whoop, fill it in a little bit more like that. And if I want, here we go come up here again trying to make sure you see it I apologize if my hands in the way or if I don't have it turned right for you to see but I 
really am trying. Such a cute little bottle. And actually, I will be selling this bottle, so I am going to do around the entire bottle. I'm not sure with the style of this bottle if it's actually a good one to put lights in. I haven't tried it yet. Again, this is like the first time I've done one of these. So I'm going to try it and see if it comes out that it is, and that's great. If not, it'll just be sold as a decorative bottle, one that can be set on a shelf. I'm going to fix this up down here a little bit. Set on a shelf, or it can be used as maybe put some flowers in it. It's cute. You know, I like it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is come out from here, I think. Yeah, maybe I'll come down this way. I want to add just some plain old leaves. I kind of like to do this a lot. Where I just draw and then I just do some basic leaves on it. Really easy. I just have it come down like here. I mean it can come across the flower. Yeah, maybe I will have it do that. Give it a little difference. Then I'm going to pick up my number two flat brush. On this one, hopefully you can see it, I'm just putting it into uh, fresh foliage and then I'm going to come about and just start doing some really simple leaves and keep in mind when you do this these are kind of like just doing like filler leaves I like to try as much as possible to put this a little bit of uh, you know whether it's a different shade of green or Maybe it's actually just a totally different color. Your leaves don't always have to be green. I think we tend to, to draw, you know, do that or that's how we do leaves, but they don't all have to be green. So if you want to do a complementary color or just another shade, feel free to do so. I'm trying to get these in here, just like a little... Sorry, I'm hoping that you can see this. Apologize if not. But you can actually come, you know, across the stem and go in. You could do this with the same color as the leaves. You don't have to do the darker green. Just come across like that. Come out like that. And there you go, you have it. Now you can go back over these. These do not have to be uh, real opaque. If you want them to be opaque, then go back over them. They can be big, they can be small. And I like say like this one, I'm gonna go like that. And then I'm gonna come out down here, come across, there you go. And then I'll go into my thicket. And come out here, pull center in, pull center in here. Like this, like that. See how cute that is? And that's full, it's busy, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna do the last one and then we'll be done. Again, any time that you feel like it's not giving you the amount of coverage that you want it to, then just go back over it. All right, and then I'm going to do this and finish it off. While you're watching this, if you have any questions, comments, please leave this down below. And yeah, I do appreciate you sticking with me on this. We're almost done. Thanks for your patience. All right, so there you go. Very pretty, I think. I think it's cute. I can see this little bugger sitting up on a shelf. Very pretty. 
All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, if you would, share this video on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. I am trying to grow my channel. All right, so please stay safe and healthy. Thanks again for stopping by. Have a good 4th of July. And until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you then. Have a good one.